I'm glad we're not proving anything important. <laughs> Morning. I'd like to call the uh, Post Falls Urban Renewal June 20th, 2019 meeting to order. If uh, Executive Director Fountain would call the roll, call the roll, please. Thank you. Carsonson? Here. Crosby? Here. Clemenson? Here. Coles? I am here. Davis? Here. Chairman Baltzell and Commissioner Horn have excused absences this morning. Thank you. Uh, if you have Commissioner Crosby lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, stands one nation, nation under, under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Ceremonies, appointments, and announcements. Director Fountain, is there anything under that? Not this morning. Not this morning, thank you. Conflict disclosure, anybody have a conflict with anything on the agenda? Agenda, agenda. please uh, speak up now. <coughs> <laughs> Seeing nothing. Uh, consent calendar, Director Fountain. Good morning. Um, item A in the consent calendar is the commission meeting minutes of May 16th. Item B is the communication property and personnel committee minutes of May 21st. Item C is the finance committee minutes of June 11th. Item D is payables for this month totaling $6,593.59. Item E is the bank activity report which shows total in all funds of $4,065,158.42 and accrued interest for the month of $6,282.62. Item F is the financial reports as of May 31st. Your approval of the consent calendar will authorize the transfer of $6,282.62 accrued interest to the general fund and transfer to the first interstate bank checking account $6,593.59 for the payables. I would answer any questions. Thank you. Any questions on the consent calendar? Seeing none, uh, need to make a, have a motion to accept the consent calendar as presented. Mr. Chairman, I move that uh, we accept the consent calendar as presented. Second. Moved and seconded. A roll call vote, please. Crosby? Aye. Carsonson? Aye. Davis? Aye. Coles? Aye. Clemenson? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, committee updates, finance, and policy. Chairman, the committee reviewed the May financials uh, and found them to be fine. Uh, we noted that uh, year to date we've earned almost $50,000 in interest. Um, and we also uh, finalized the uh, 2020 operating budget for the commission, which will be presented to the commission for its review in July on the at the workshop and then presented for public comment at the August uh, commission meeting. And we reviewed a draft closing budget for the West Seltese District, uh, which is closing in 2020. Uh, and that will be uh, reviewed and discussed at the September meeting when we have a better handle on what kind of increment we're going to get in the latter part of this year. Thank you. Uh, district review? I have nothing this morning. You have nothing. Uh, communications, property, and personnel. Uh, we had a meeting on May 21st and we did a personnel evaluation and that will be reviewed at the at the next meeting in july and we uh, some other note i had here oh that uh diane do you want to explain that ssl uh yes um we had talked about on our website being having it more secure and so there's an ssl certificate uh, that we can purchase for it's $45 for one year or $80 for two years so we put that into the budget um, it just makes the website more secure and um, it used to be less affordable they've making it more affordable because it's more widely used now and we also talked about an upgrade to our website which Shelley Zolman can do for between five hundred and a thousand dollars and so we've had the website and have never had an update to it. 
and that security certificate will go along with any updates that we have. So, so we've entered the that into the budget and also the upgrade to the website. And that will be uh, finalized or discussed at the workshop yeah. in next month? We'll do it at the workshop and then at the budget hearing. Yeah. Finalized, yes. Any questions on that? If not, we'll move on to uh, citizen comments. This section of the agenda is reserved <coughs> for citizens wishing to address the commission regarding an agency-related issue. Comments related to future public hearings should be held for that public hearing. <clears throat> Persons wishing to speak will have five minutes. We have Shelley Enzrud wishing to speak. Good morning. How are you. you this morning? Excellent. Someday I'm going to stand before you and tell you when the 4th Avenue parking lot will be done. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. not this morning, <laughs> just to warn you. Um, so we did award the paving contract on Tuesday night for the 4th Avenue parking lot. We have not heard back from interstate on the date, but they have told us it could be all the way till September because it's such a small project for them. They're trying to fit it in amongst their other projects. So we may see the paving happen in July, August, or <coughs> September. And I'll keep Diane updated. I just wanted to let you guys know because we had felt or thought that the paving would occur by August and we'd be done with the parking lot, but that may not be the case. And hopefully I'll know next week. Mm -hmm. We'll have a date from interstate, then I can let Diane know. So. We're getting closer, but not quite there yet. Well, it looks very nice. It's starting to shape up and look very nice, yes. So it'll be great once we get it open. Hopefully in time for the Chamber's uh, September appreciation party, it would be excellent. So thank you very much. Well, thank you for the update. <laughs> OK, uh, next on the agenda is unfinished business. We have none. We have none? OK, then we'll go to new business. The item A is amend the MOU. <coughs> You're going to fill us in on that? Yes, thank you. Um, this MOU is between the city and the agency, whereas the agency has agreed to fund the Highway 41 upsizing from 12th Avenue to Horse Haven with tax increment from the East Pulse Falls District. The project has been designed and right-of-way is anticipated to be completed this summer by ITD. The MOU before you replaces the MOU that was previously approved in November of 2018 to cover the possibility that if the project is not completed by the maturity date of the East Pulse Falls District, which is December of 2022, the agency agrees to pay the city 110% of the estimated remaining costs, including contingency funds for un any unforeseen expenses or higher than expected costs. The funds are to be used solely for the completion of this project and any excess shall be related by the city to the affected taxing districts as provided in Idaho Code 50-2909. The purpose of this memorandum is to formally document the understanding and relationship between the city and the agency for the Highway 41 Gravity Pipeline Upsize Project. It is the intent to construct the project in 2019-2020 timeframe but the MOU um, outlines that um, it has been reviewed by legal counsel and it will go to city council on July 1st. Did you have anything else you wanted to add, Pete? Uh, no, that really pretty much sums it up. Um, the main change to the MOU was in the financial agreement section. Uh, <clears throat> in your packet on page 16, and Diane just read that uh, language from the paragraph that begins, the parties agree that in the event the project has not been completed by June 1st, 2022, um, Warren Wilson, the city attorney, drafted that paragraph. I revised it, and um, I think it's in good form and ready for approval, so. Questions? Uh, just, just a confirmation. Uh, our projections for this district which are conservative and based current on current tax increment uh, indicate that we will be able to, uh, if the need arises, uh, not only pay for all the improvements but also provide the um, escrow that Pete just covered, which would be 110 percent of the remaining work to be done. Uh, and and there's no there's no projection that does not indicate we'd have those sufficient funds. Correct. 
Yeah, we'll have more than enough. <clears throat> Thank you. Along that um, 41 corridor, there was a concern or a problem with a, with a drain field. Has that been finalized or addressed or? Not that I know of. We're gonna, mm -hmm. um, we have a meeting this morning with yeah. the city and, and we'll be able to find out more information on that. I can send an email to the rest of the commissioners if they'd like me to after that meeting is completed. So otherwise I haven't heard anything on the drain field. Could that be a fly in the ointment on this whole project? It could possibly hold it up for, you know, I, I don't know how long. Um, hopefully not too long. We're going to get the answer gonna help right us now. Out here. <laughs> well, John Beecham will be able to answer in more detail than I can, but they are still working on it. Um, but at the last meeting, it was indicated now that the project on 41 may be delayed another year for the state, which, well, none of us really want that. Actually, for this project, may not be a bad thing because that would give them adequate time to get that taken care of. We could get in, get the pipe in, and then they could do their paving after that. So. We're not exactly sure. They haven't 100% confirmed, but it does look 75% right now that that project for the state may actually go another year out. So, um, and John will be able to give a more detailed exp explanation. Okay, thank so, you. Sounds bad for us all overall because 41 is going to take longer, but for this project, <coughs> actually, it's better because it gives us more time to get things taken care of. So. And that's not adversely going to affect the gravity line or the EQ basin or the 12th no, Street? No, it wouldn't affect any of these projects. Um, the only effect actually would be giving us a little bit more time. So it, it would be positive for these projects, negative for all the other economic development on the, uh, re regarding 41. Because we do have, for example, the uh, retail center there at 41 in Prairie is holding off until sure. the completion of 41. So that means they're delayed another year also. In the macro sense, what's the what's behind that possible delay? I mean, is it planning? Is it right away acquisition? What is a little of both is my understanding. So um, the state has got a lot of projects that they're working on currently, and a number of them here in North Idaho, and they just have not moved along with the engineering and design and right away acquisition on those projects as they had anticipated. So it's probably a little internal triage with their efforts as well. Likely, yes. Uh, the original reason why this was delayed had to do with one of the homes on 41 being considered historic. And they went away from all the right-of-way acquisition, focused on that. And so then the right-of-way acquisition just started a few months ago. That's really late mm -hmm. to start right-of-way acquisition, as you guys are familiar with the Greens Ferry overpass and what that took. Sure. So, so um, how would this affect Phillips project? Delay, delay. <clears throat> it, it would likely delay the retail side on the um, tech side I don't see it delaying anything because they don't really need the improvements on 41 to locate any businesses on that northwest side so okay thank you thank you thank you very helpful okay um, next one would be the Mr. chairman I would move that we approve the uh, amended MOU for the highway 41 um, okay. Only A, not B. Only A, yes, yeah. B. Okay. Yes. Second percentage. We have a motion and a second to approve uh, the MOU on Highway 41 Gravity Pipeline Upsize Project. Uh, roll call vote on that. Roll call vote. Crosby? Aye. Harsons? Aye. Davis? Aye. Coles? Aye. Hemmonson? Aye. Thank you. And next we'll move on to B, the amended MOU for the EQ Basin Project. Thank you. This is basically the same um, the same reasoning for the change in the MOU. Um, so it's between the agency and the city, whereas the agency has agreed to fund the EQ Basin Project, 12th Avenue lift station improvement, and a portion of the Force Main with tax increment from the East Post Falls District. The project is in the final design process, and we have a meeting later this morning, whereas the city will provide an update on the design and the schedule for the project. The MOU replaces the MOU that was approved in September of 2018 to cover the possibility that if the project is not completed by the maturity date of the East Pulse Falls District, which is December 20 of 2020, 20, 2022, the agency agrees to pay the city 110% of the estimated remaining costs, including contingency funds for un any unforeseen expenses or higher than expected costs. Those funds are to be used solely for the completion of this project and any excess shall be released 
allocated to the city or by the city to the affected taxing districts as provided in Idaho Code 50-2909. The purpose of this memorandum is to formally document the understanding and relationship between the city and the agency for the EQ Basin, 12th Avenue lift station, improvements, and Force Main. It is in the intent to fully complete the project by 2022. And legal counsel has also reviewed this MOU um, and it will go to city council on July 1st for approval. Okay, we need a uh, motion to approve the MOU. So and moved. So moved. Second. 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 Uh, roll call vote. Crosby. Aye. Carsonson. Aye. Davis. Aye. Coles? Aye. Clemenson? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, staff report and updates. Uh, last week I spoke with Mr. Watson from the Expo District and he stated that most of the sprinklers are in along Jackson, uh, Jacklin and Expo Parkway and landscaping will be completed by the end of July. He stated that housing has sparked indus industrial users interested in locating in the Expo District there has been more interest in the last two months than he has had in the past three to four years. Um, Romney Motion, which is located on Innovation Way, is wanting to expand 18,000 square feet and add another 40 to 50 employees out there. Um, they are a leader in CNC machining for aerospace. They fabricate parts for airplanes and also medical. So I have a call into him and was going to talk to Mr. Romney and possibly maybe go out for a tour of that facility and um, just kind of see what he has going on out there. Um, and then I drove, um, as I was driving through there to see the progress, I noticed the overgrowth of weeds, which we've had concerns about in, in other districts. And so I contacted Mr. Watson and um, suggested that he, you know, spray them or mow them down that it would help with uh, marketing of the property and so they were going to get a hold of their landscaper and, and do that. I drove by yesterday. It hasn't been done yet, but I'll kind of keep an eye on that. Um, I saw a lady walking through there with her dog and you could hardly see the dog. So <laughs> you know how it is when the sun takes off, the weeds grow. Um, and then in the Center Point District, NWR Inc. has relocated from their location on Celtis Way. They're an HVAC company that has been in business since 2007, and they have 30 employees out there. Um, they've been located at um, East Bowway for about three weeks now. Um, the Maverick Station is opened for business. Thank you, Jamie. And um, I handed out el the eligibility reports for all of you to read, take home and read through, and we will have that presented at the July 9th workshop. That is all I have. Thank you. Um, I was just thinking that's kind of a twist that we're hearing that there's a lot of activity because of the housing out there where it's always been kind of the other way. We really want the industry, but rooftops cost the city additional funding for police and fire and all this stuff. So hopefully in this case, the rooftops are doing some good. So any questions? Thank you. Uh, next is commissioner comments. Uh, Chairman, just just a reminder that uh, yeah we are working on the closing budget for uh, for the uh, West Saltese District. Uh, we will uh, close Expo in 2021, and we'll close Center Point in 2022. So we're uh, we're actively engaged in uh, in closing out districts and returning that tax base to the taxpayers and the, and the cities and various taxing entities. Thank you. That's uh, dates that we can't change. Can't change, no sir. So if something else gets changed that affects this, it's still, this can't be changed. Simple as that. <clears throat> so, uh, questions? Any more commissioner comments? Uh, chairman comments well mr. chairman is not here today so and I guess uh, if there's a comment I'd like to see if you could up enlighten us on 
the others that were going to be moving out there. Uh, uh, who am I thinking of? Crown UPS. Oh, okay. And the trucking yeah. firm. I um, spoke with the Shelley Andrew, the city administrator, yesterday, and um, Crown Enterprises is actually going before planning and zoning um, for a special use permit to revise that July 19th. Yes, July 19th, and then um, so far we haven't heard anything on UPS. I did send an email to Chris Logston from Centerpoint yesterday to ask for an update, and I haven't received anything back from him yet. So, Well, it's very encouraging to see some activity out there after a long time. You know, after Cabela's went out there, I figured that would, that would just explode. And it cert <clears throat> certainly hasn't been what I had envisioned. So anything is is encouraging. Mm -hmm. So, quick question: Crown Enterprises. That's a, a, a cargo shipping firm, correct? It's it's a shipping, trucking firm, correct, Shelley? I believe that's what it is. It's a it's a trucking firm. Okay. That's all I know. Are so they, that's all they. Where are they located now? I have no idea. Okay. Oh, no. Good thing you came today. Yeah. <laughs> Getting your money's worth. So I know they're a distribution center. I don't believe they're a trucking <clears throat> firm. Um, I, when I looked them up on the website, they have some sites in Montana and Washington is what I'd seen some other distribution centers. So they're kind of in the northwest region. Um, I'll research that because I thought when I spoke with Chris that it was a trucking okay. firm. So. Oh. I'll confirm with that. Okay, Maybe yeah, the which they would have trucks because they're distributing things, but right. I, I think they distribute, I want to say it's uh, like exercise equipment and things like that, huh. but mm. I could be wrong on that one, so, because there's a couple different Crown Enterprises when you Google them, so, but. Thank you. Any, uh, I'm sorry, that's all the only co chairman comments you got. Um, anything else? If not, we will. Adjourn. Need a motion? Motion for adjournment. Second. Second. Motion and a second to adjourn. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Adjourned.